Hello everyone, this is Trainer Connor. You're watching one of my Wi-Fi battle videos. We're facing with Necro Sivo today, guys, so this is going to be an epic battle, it looks like, because we're using legendary battle um, Pokemon. Legendary battle Pokemon. That is the weirdest thing I've ever said in this video so far. Anyway, so, Necro Sivo's side is up as well, so if you haven't checked that out, be sure to do so. And I hope you'll enjoy this video. Okay, so we're gonna begin with my Digger's B choice bandit. Huge power is gonna be doing a lot of damage to whoever gets to take a hit. Um, I think he was gonna start off using Mewtwo or Primal Groudon, but as a choice bandit Pokemon, I'm not fast enough. If I were Scarfed, I would probably outspend him, but I didn't want to go for U-turn right away there, just because. Mewtwo might outspeed me and hit me with an Aura Sphere, or Primo Groudon might come in. And he chooses to bring in his Groudon. Gets the Gosselet Land ability going, and so I end up switching out and going into my Cliff Key Ironclad, just because I can get some spikes going there. And here I make a misplay. I, I, I meant to go for spikes, but I, I misclicked. And here my opponent goes for the Thunder Wave, probably expecting me to switch out. Because the Percipial Blakes is obvious of a move to go for at this point. But I go for Spice and again, my opponent predicts my switch. But I keep going for Spice. I lay down two layers, which is good. Now, and there we go, the Percipial Blakes. That's going to take me out no matter how much EVs I put in the defense or whatever. So yeah, Cluffy goes down, but I did okay with the Spikes going there. It's going to work out great. And it's going to help me in this battle for sure. Now it's a good time to bring in my Primo Kyogre, get my Primo Reversion going, and get the Primo Girl C activated. And that's going to nullify uh, fire type moves and all that stuff coming from Groudon. So I know he's going to switch. I actually expected his Venusaur to come in, which is why I went for the Ice Beam. I really should have gone for the Water Spout, but again, the Venusaur is obvious, so just to be safe, I go for Ice Beam. I hit Deoxys in its defensive form, um, and that does a lot more than I thought it would, so. Alright, now I switch out, and I go into my, um, my Lockheels to take a Psychic type move, but my opponent goes to the Recover, which is good play there. I would have done the same, and I am a life orb Lockheos, so I go for Shadow Ball, and that does a lot of damage too. Here, my opponent goes for a Nasty Plot, and guys, uh, that is scary, but I think another Shadow Ball might kick him out. I believe I got max damage on the first attack, so maybe I might get minimum damage, because if he lives this attack, he's going to recover. I don't want that to happen. But fortunately, I kick out the assets, and that's going to work out great. I kick a little bit of recoil damage because of the life warp that I have equipped. Brings in, uh, no, Necrosivo brings in Ami Palm, and I expected that, so I go in the digger speed and take the fake out that's coming my way, and I take a nice chunk of damage there. I, Reveal to him that I'm choice banded at this point here in this battle because that does a crap load to him. And I don't really have anything I could take a last resort. So, with this in mind, I'm going to bring in my choice scarf, Kiram Black. Go for Dragon Pulse. I am a special Kiram here, which is not common by many people that use this Kiram Black. Back in 5th generation, it was like Outrage, Fusion Bolt, and something else, it's like. That's very common, so why not go for a special set? Now, I do not want to take a Dragon Pulse against Groudon. Well, okay, I say it wrong. I meant, I don't want to hit Groudon with a Dragon Pulse, because that wouldn't kick him out. I need my Karen Black for the remainder of his spell, for sure. He goes for Thunder Wave as I switch into my Magma Salamence. I've never seen Thunder Wave on a Groudon before, but it works out here. I go for the Mega Evolution. 
I was expecting to not cave this hit, but I somehow live it, and that's probably because Salamis got a huge uh, physical defense boost, apparently, and I somehow live a stone edge. Um, and he's going to finish me off on the next turn. Fortunately, I don't get paralyzed or able to go for an outrage. And then we can bring back in Karen Black and finish him off with a Dragon Pulse. In the end, my Mega Salamis was able to come through and just basically allow my Karen Black to finish off Gragon. Now, what Mega Stevo said in his video is that in the harsh sunlight, Moves like Blizzard and Thunder get a 3% accuracy rate. I've never seen that happen, I've never learned about it until now. But I was able to come through and win that kind of weird situation there. I don't have anyone that can take a Draco Meteor into the face. So we're going to sell this on my Lockheos. And I'm sorry Lockheos, but that has to happen. This way I can bring back in Karen Black. Karen Black is a huge, huge help in this battle for sure. And so is my Klefki because of the spice. Alrighty then. Once again, Karen Black is going to go and hit the Rush Ram. I was expecting this Rush Ram to take the hit, but I, I guess Karen Black is too powerful in the speaking of of words really it's just the visuals that say how strong it is i don't know what i'm saying i'm rambling anyways BQ is in i'm expecting him to mega evolve i wasn't sure which mega stone he's going to have but he has mega mewtwo x and this is scary but i am so scarfed so even if like well i know he's gonna live a hit but um even if I go down, I still have my Primo Kyogre in the wings. But I live this attack, so uh, I think Mewtwo S gets a physical boost, right? So I'm not, I'm not really sure why he went for Aura Sphere. He's probably a mixed Mewtwo S, I might imagine, there. Anyway, so um, his last Pokemon is Steven the Venusaur, and that's his favorite Pokemon, Necrosteva. Necrosteva is a fan of grass type Pokemon, so it makes sense. He's able to finish me off with a Sludge Bomb, and I hear he gets a Life Orb there, and I'm like, okay, good. That means I can outspeed him. Uh, without the sunlight, he cannot outspeed me, of course, because I imagine that he has Chlorophyll as an ability, right? We're going to finish him off with an ice type move in the form of Ice Beam, yet again from my Primo Kyogre. And that's going to be the end of this battle. Alright, well that was a good battle guys. Um, what do you say? If you all enjoyed this, be sure to like, and I'll see you guys all next time. Take care.